Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Dragon Age. We just took down the high or the high abyssal? We took down the abyssal dragon. And uh, now we're getting the F out of here. We're gonna head to Skyhold actually because I want to give the amulet to Cole that we found for him. And I also want to make sure that our war table uh, is operating at maximum possible efficiency. So we're gonna go and do that. Then I'm probably going to go and help uh, Varric. His quest looked interesting. Uh, we'll see where Cole's leads. Who knows? And then we will uh, go from there. Since we're outside, we'll stop and talk to Cole first. What do we got going on here? Iron Bull? What is he looking for? I'll go talk to Cole first. And fall. He writes words that aren't real, but they are for him, in a quiet place whose stone shape shakes the ground. That's really strange, but okay. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can oh. go away if it becomes sharp. Okay. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Cole, if you're 100% behind it, then we're good. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. blood mages from binding me like the demons at adamant but it didn't work something is interfering with the enchantment something like cole not being a demon yeah that's probably it that's probably it solus is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on cole because he's too human regardless of cole's special circumstances he remains a spirit Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. <laughs> I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. Keep going. There. That way. Okay. You want me to go look? We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working, and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. So Varric, Solus, and Cole, if we right, have to... I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Oh, jeez. The most important thing is that we can protect him. All I care about is making certain that the Venatori can't bind Cole. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story. Child of the stone? We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Okay, that is really bizarre. Is it taking us there directly? Huh. Yeah, this should get me through the month. 
Give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. Whoa. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire and you forgot and I died in the dark. The, the spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! What? Okay, can you explain it? If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. Oh. And I, I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, That'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying Lyrium. Yeah, get him through the month. Let me kill him. I need to. I need to. Okay, let's. We gotta figure this out here. Cole become more like a spirit. The amulet should function properly. We become more human, the amulet may not be necessary. Let's see. Solus, what do you think? Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You, you didn't kill him. A spirit can. Yeah, like, that's it. Varric? The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. The spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Did he though? Because did he not, um, did he not just say like he tried to help that guy, but he couldn't, so he became him? Like that's not intentional. I, th I think he forgives and become more like he was. Like, it seems to me like he, w this wasn't a, a specific choice that he made. Cole Leaving the fade, let this maybe. Go. I believe I can help. Cole. Come with me. And by him approving that, Cole, it's kind of showing me that yes, that is more along the lines of what he really would want. Not possible. Not possible. Can you feel this man's pain, Cole? He remembers now. He knows he killed me. No. Feel his pain. His guilt. The shame that drove him from the Templars. Don't worry. We'll erase his records. They clap me on the shoulder. Smell of oiled metal and blood. They smile like Louis did when he made me drown the kittens. Laughter bounces off the walls like a thin child's fist. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's hurting, Cole. And you are a spirit of compassion. Forgive him. Forget. I believe we are finished here.
right, kid? Yes. He's free. We're both free. Nice. So... Does that mean that he releases his human form? Yes, we'll find out, but... With that taken care of, we should be able to help with the amulet now. He has to be working. Cole should Beautiful. be adequately protected. Have you talked to him since? Have you heard what he sounds like? He sounds like a spirit. Nonsense words Whoa. like botchand at the end. <laughs> just need to hear the song again just for a minute. I'm all right, Varric. So, just need to do the song just for a minute. I'm already, he's all over the place. Like, is he happy? What matters is his happiness. Cole, how are you feeling? I am well. There is work, wounded to help, hurts to heal, but the weight is off. Nice. The old chains have fallen. You're not still angry with the man who hurt you? No, I helped him forget. His pain no longer pulls at me. A woman with two names slips a knife in darkness to her left hand. Honey stirred into Leliana's wine. Faith, not revenge. Could have been a person. Possibly. Would that have made him happier, child of the stone? <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, it's what I... I totally believe that whatever he wants is the right way to do it. And it seems... It seems as if that is what he wanted. So, I'm all for it. Where'd Solus go? He's usually just... Oh, there he is. That was weird. Hello. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. <laughs> yeah, you usually can. Um, we've asked about Hawk before, no? I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Carry on. I've got a minute if you need something. About that lead of yours, Varric. Sure. The sooner we take care of it, the better. Right, okay. Are you totally trusting of it? Do you think this lead of hers is real? Bianca's too much of a researcher to pass me information without verifying it first. But if you're asking whether she'd lie to us, maybe set us up, it's possible. Good, Not that's great. It, though. She risked the wrath of the guild coming in person. A message would have sufficed. Whatever she found in that entrance shook her up. That worries me. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the Inquisition? We've got a pretty well-balanced organization. I'm a fan of diversification and all, but do we have the strength to handle major issues when they come up? What do you think of Liliana's work? She's pretty bored right now, and that's dangerous. Never leave your spies idle. How do you think Josephine is handling the job of ambassador? You might want to find some tasks for her before she rearranges the <laughs> war room again. What do you think of our general? Uh, He's been insufferably smug lately. You might want to tell him to watch his back. I think Liliana might shiv him. So basically... Back to work, then. Basically, Varric doesn't trust anybody. Makes sense. I am going to check in and see if it's possible to upgrade his Bianca, because in our High Abyssal dragon fight, he was dishing out, like, mosquito bites, basically. But I don't think I have anything specific for him. Let's see. Um, okay, Varric. So we've got... Okay, hold on here. So we've got things equipped the best we can. Maybe we could we could add a rune to it though. We could go versus living or corrupted. Ugh. 
And that's only versus those specific ones. Do we want to use a rune that way, or do we want to use it for crafting? I think probably crafting, to be honest. And we just wait until we can find more upgrades for him, but... That's... that's what I think. Okay, do we have... Let's see, we've got these things pretty well done. Iron Bull. Got a haft. Let's see. Willpower, strength. Let's grab extra strength. No haft, a great upgradable. And these runes, I imagine, do the exact same thing. Yeah, they do. Okay. Solus, let's check out yours. Nope. Vivienne, we can use the rune, but I don't want to. Cole's daggers. This one has the corrupting rune already. Alright, it seems like we're okay. We really need to buy more of those specific upgrades. Let's see here. Is there any armor we can sell that we're not using? None of this is really better than what we have. So that stuff's good to go. We have some upgrades here. I might as well keep them. And what about buying? We could... Oh, let's see. Nothing available for sale here. I guess it depends where we shop. Because the only thing we can buy here... Are the... Um, the respec abilities. Okay. Josephine, how's it going? <laughs> How are you always so polite? How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Hmm. What do the people make of us? Oh, I didn't they ask if it gets tiresome. Favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Let's yes. see if I can ask her now. Here we go. How do you stay Bonds of circ and I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. <laughs> yeah, I'd Ages, say so. Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. Let's speak later. Goodbye. After we check in with the war room, I'm going to go back to the Iron Bull and to Coal to see what's going on there. Alright, let's pick up our reports here. So we got a little bit of gold for helping Redcliffe. Pleased that we are able to work together for the betterment of the people of Redcliffe, Arling. May Andraste watch over you. Pardon Hightown. Revenge of the Merchants Guild, okay. That book is a- <laughs> Nightingale, two points. That book is abysmal, and the entire code-breaking department wants to ritually set it on fire. And two, the message is double encrypted. The message in the mistakes is in a Merchants Guild cipher. We have not yet broken the guild's code. Okay, cool. What about Lord Enzo of Antiva? 
Our agents entered Lord Enzo's home where they discovered several pieces of correspondence connecting Enzo to the Venatori. Worse, it seems Enzo did more than buy into their philosophy. He's been arranging to send volunteers to Red Lyrium Mines as they took these people from Rialto's poorer, more fortunate residents, or more unfortunate residents. Few noticed the disappearances. Our agents were prepared to confront Enzo with the evidence, but he failed to return. We've since learned that he hired a ship to Ursinia in the Free Marches. It seems unlikely that Enzo knew of our presence, but something spooked him. Lillian has written a note below. Have our agents track Lord Enzo to the Free Marches. His work for the Venatori must not continue. Let us pray the trail does not run cold. So here we go, a masterwork imbued staff grip. That could actually be a nice upgrade. Uh, let's follow up on this and offer from the Crows. A letter delivered to Skyhold at Sender claims to be a member of the Antivan Crows, an infamous guild of assassins. We encountered your agents in Hercinia. It seems the Inquisition and the Crows share a target. Our employer bears no love for Lord Enzo due to, well, let's just say it's a personal matter. Of course, I imagine your motivation to have more to do with the man's to Vinter friends. You know the Venatori. We know Enzo. Why compete for the man? Lend us your knowledge and the job will be done far more quickly. You eliminate an enemy, our employer receives a political rival, and we get paid. A happy ending for all involved. Gita. Hmm. The crows are in a fortunate reality of Antivan politics. They may pursue, or they will pursue the contract regardless, as uh, we may as well know where they are. Well, that's a good point. Cooperating with the Antivan crows works to our advantage. They should have more knowledge of Enzo, and we can gain contacts should we need their assistance in the future. And do we really want to get tangled up with the crows? Our people can handle this. I, both of these people make good points. Let's go, Liliana. Okay. And where's the other one that we had? Guess we didn't have one. Okay, so let's go to investigate the Duke Antoine of Wycombe. Nightingale, I have new information against uh, regarding Duke Antoine of Wycombe's move against the Inquisitor's Dalish clan. It appears that Wycombe has been experiencing some sort of plague that affects only humans. The Duke has kept news of the disease quiet as his fellow nobles grow louder in their anger, blaming the elves and the alienage for what has been called the Knife-Eared Plague. Antoine evidently chose to use Clan Lavellan as a scapegoat. His surreptitious move against the Dalish was an attempt to convince his nobles that he was taking action. Suspicions in the city remain high. I can gather information, but any action on my part will be high risk. Wycombe believes himself an ally of the Inquisition. My ambassadors can go where Liliana's agents cannot. Do it. Let us begin. And last but not least, we can check out the Tessarian guys. The Arl's invitation. I apologize for any unpleasantness that might have arisen from my last correspondence with the Inquisition. My people have been under tremendous strain for too long, even before the destruction of the Conclave, and it's taken its toll on all the Redcliffe Arling. But that is in the past. Today, I write to offer an invitation to the Inquisition. The Banoran of Calone is a part of my domain and now lies empty. Banalara lost her life attending the Conclave. Her only living relative holds lands too far away to administer both. By Ferelden custom, the lands are now property of whomever claims them through skill of arms. A tournament will be held at Callum with the victor taking the title as a prize. The Inquisitor may send a champion to fight in the melee if you wish. We could send a champion. It may not be wise to win, however. Ferelden holds grudges. Hmm... Let's hold off on that one for now, and let's investigate the- Oh, we already have her going there. Let's talk to the Assarian guys. The Blades of Assarian keep supplies along the shore. Consider them at your disposal. Our former leader increased our caches significantly, although some consider his methods dishonorable. Could use the resources our soldiers can deliver them. Let's see what they're gonna give us. Can't hurt. Uh, okay, so let's actually check this upgrade. Staff grip, so plus seven to magic. I believe on our current... Uh, where is it? Why is this showing... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 
Uh, masterwork imbued staff grip already. But we could give it to one of our other guys. Like Solus or Dorian. And I think what I'll do is give it to Dorian. But I have to check the properties. I guess it's just... I think it was extra seven magic. Okay, Dorian, let's check out your staff. I'm well aware <laughs> of how that sounds. Okay, so we've got the grip here. Plus seven magic, yeah, why not? The pen is mightier, Miles. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to talk to Cole. This should be kind of interesting. I'm curious to see if he's... Well, just how he's doing in general. I'm sure this is pretty uh, traumatic. If you're human or spirit, really. What is he talking about? How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship, or will others be arriving later? No, I have a spirit with me, actually. Uh... <laughs> I might not be alone, I'm not sure. I may have a friend joining me. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. Thank you. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. <laughs> He's a little bit off in public situations, I guess. Anything you'd like to share? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. Little <laughs> silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. So many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. So he feels like everything. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. So is that a good thing? So you help them with a few whispered words. The right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger, so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. Hey, I'm honestly super happy for you. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice. Too proud to forgive. Gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair. Find another path. There was someone before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. Well, honestly, I'm super happy. Um, you're welcome. Not really, no. But you're welcome regardless. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared. 
trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. <laughs> she wants someone to compliment her hat. Okay. They will never know, but I know, thanks to you. That actually does seem like it would be uh, <laughs> pretty interesting to be able to do. I don't know if I'd want to be able to do that to hear everybody's thoughts, but it'd be interesting to have like somebody close to you that could do that and set up all sorts of weird scenarios like that one. Like that guy is now well in the girl and they're probably going to they might talk and maybe get married and have kids and be happy. I can talk you know, with you. something like that. So cool. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. I'll talk to you later. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're going to take a little break. When we return, we will go to Iron Bull. Looks like he wants help with something. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but uh, we're going to find out very soon. So wish me luck, and we'll see you next time. Bye.